Hi traders, good morning or good evening. Guten Tag, bonjour, buongiorno, marhaba, and dobry den. Hello to all of you from all latitudes, guys. This is Mario from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. How are you today? Because my day is wonderful and even better than all previous days. I hope your day is also fantastic today. Thanks for popping in on my channel again. But if this is your first time here, please receive my warm welcome, dear traveler. And don't forget to press the subscribe and the bell button to get notification about my new videos. I'm sure you will get a lot of value here to improve your trading skills. Today I will tell you about the most effective formations of Japanese candlesticks and later I will tell you how to use them at market turning points, especially in relation to the trend lines I told you in my previous videos. So let's start the rock and roll. Japanese candles were initially used on the rice market in 18th century, but not long ago they entered the global trading markets and as for today they are a must-have tool for every trader. I think you've got as well this in your arsenal, aren't ya? This video is not about how candles are built and how they work. I hope you already know how to use them and if not, then there are plenty of videos on YouTube that please find out one and learn and come back later over here. One thing is sure, candlesticks tell stories about the current market and past market events. They say where they were and where the areas of accumulation and distribution. They show us how investors react or reacted to specific price levels and show us turning points in the market. Today I will tell you about the best candlestick formations showing these turning points. So let's start with the first formation. So the first formation is chart multiple rejection candles on the chart of, of Euro USD for our chart. All those candles with weeks from the top are rejection candles. We've got here the distribution area and this candle sh and this shows that it's strong resistance over here and it occurs in areas of strong support or resistance, those multiple rejection candles, where despite repeated attempts to break the level, as you see this level, it didn't got break. The price stays intact we might say in the same place. This happened when a large number of buy or sell orders are set somewhere here at the certain level. It's a huge sell orders on resistance area like here. And at support area, we might got it like here, is a very strong area of buy orders. The volume of buy orders at the certain level is much bigger, exceeding the selling orders. So that's the reason how it looks like a fight over here. So usually those orders are placed by central banks or large investment funds or hedge funds. You know, the big guys come here, they put the level and they say, no way, here we are buying and there is no asshole who is going to break this level. That's when appears this multiple rejection candles. And here we should go. Probably, oh, we are already on locks, long, weak candles. It's the next pattern. You probably do know that hammers or inverted hammers or whatever, but these candles with long, weak, it show potential, again, show potential market reversal points. This candle, it considers it is a violent reaction of the market to a certain price level, which triggers a large volume of orders. So the price is going up, is going up, 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 and at the certain moment, it triggers a big reversal order. So in this case, it's selling orders. Here, same story, the market went up and boom, stop, and this funny dodgy has been formed over here. Well, simply saying the price reaches the point where the 
automatic sale or purchase starts. That's how it works, like this long week candles. We got the next one over here. This is the buying uh, for the buying. Same story. The price went down and boom, immediately it triggered big amount of orders and the price reversed nearly to its opening. More or less, it's better seen here. Opening and close, this doji uh, C, as you see, is exactly at almost certain level. So it is rejection of, of trying to sell to lower the price. Probably the big order, the big buy. Such patterns at points of strong support or resistance or in the area of breaking the trend line are a strong signal, guys, for opening a position. But we'll talk about it later on. Just give me a moment. Let's go. We got another one. Another long week candles here. As you see, it's same story. Here the price tried to be pushed higher. It's been rejected. And once again tried to go, go higher. And uh, here we got lower high formed. Again, the rejection. Then we got some like engulfing nearly cotton on inside bar, whatever it is. We'll talk about it just in a second. And the price went down. Here again, we got small dodges here, but it's same story, you know, long candle weeks. Here is same story. So it repeats over and over again. Those are the best signals for reversals, but it's not always, as you see here, it is a signal. The price probably went down a little bit, but it wasn't on the top like here. It was in the middle of the trend, so it didn't work as it should do. Here you see multiple rejection candles, but let's go to the next, to the next pattern, which is, oh, we still got long weeks here. They represent as it says, strong, level of resistance and the furious rejection as i called it that's how it is next pattern guys is is pattern called engulfing pattern here we go engulfing pattern this two candle pattern the body of the second candle in this two candle pattern is uh, engulf the body of the previous candles like here you see this is the first one this is the second so the body of the second one so from the opening to closing it engulfs so gets within the second candle the first candle yeah so the previous one must be the body of first candle must be within the body of the second that's what you call engulfing so in case of the bullish engulfing patterns like we got here or here, it says, uh, well, it's uh, the second candle completely engulfs, as I said to you before, the real body of the first candle. So this body just engulfed the other body here, same story. The body of this huge candle engulfed the body of the, of the smaller one. The bullish engulfing patterns appear in a downtrend as a combination of one red candle followed by a blue candle in this case. So there are two different colors. The first one is is uh, is a red candle and the other one is blue candle. Yeah. So that's how it looks like. And bearish candle is we've got it here. So the first one is blue, which is rising candle. The other one is red falling candle and the body of the first candle is engulfed by the body of the second one so there was another example here we got engulfing candle same story here first candle small rising the other one is just falling candle the red candle and the body of the first one is within the body of the second candle. It is a sign for falling of the market. The market is ready to fall. And this is signal for buying. We got engulfing candle, rising engulfing candle, which engulfs the body of last candle here made after this A, B and C. The C, uh, C wave already was the first candle, the signal candle. That's how it looks like. And we got the next one, guys, which is important inside bar pattern is again two bar price action trading strategy pattern in which the inside bar is smaller and within the high 
to low range of the prior bar. As you see, the body of this candle is within the range of the previous previous candle. That's how it looks like. So that's inside bar. There's a very good sign that that probably the trend is going to reverse. And that's how it looks like. Here we got another one here inside bar pattern here on the growing market. You see it is even better. The market was falling like here and here the body of the second candle is totally in the body of the first candle. That's how it works like this. So we've got four patterns. First one was multiple rejection candles, the second one was long wick candles, the third one was engulfing engulfing pattern or engulfing candles, and the fourth one was inside bar patterns, which are the four main patterns which we will use when I will show you how the market changes its direction. Here we've got as example, let me show, let's get rid of all this. I quickly get rid of all those uh, those objects on the chart. As you see, we got plenty of those different patterns. First one here, we got inside bar, the long bar rising market. So it's a green or blue in my case. The other one, the much smaller and the body within the first candle body. So here immediately you might see inside bar pattern. Here clearly you see a long week pattern and the price started falling. Here we got multiple candles. Again, look, it's so many of them. Not all of them work. Is here we got again rejection, rejection and still this fella, look at this one, it's called inverted hammer. It's a perfect and still engulfing is a perfect rising rising pattern for the rising market. So this inverted hammer and those multiple rejection candles show that the market will go this way. That's how it shows. Let's go further. Here again we got multiple rejections here. We can even draw here the area where the rejection takes place. We are on gold USD and as you see the market reversed. What here? We got long week pattern. Look at this guys. The price a long time didn't get through this level. So look, long week rejection immediately after all this area, multiple rejection patterns here multiple rejection candles. Can you see those weeks over here? It is so clear. It is so nice. So when we got such a situation that we draw a trend lines I show in one of my previous videos, watch on my channel, and we got sign like this, or we draw the trend line. So we might know that here the price broke through the trend line before we had a multiple rejection candles with the level which couldn't be passed through and then the price fallen further. And again here on gold, you know, gold is a crazy market. If you are a beginner, I don't recommend you to, to trade on, on gold because because it's uh, well it's very unpredictable and the movements are really high you need a big capital to stay there intact to stay safe don't forget that you should trade no more than i say four to five percent of your trading capital in one position so on golf the deposit is still bigger but you can see very well here all those formations like this one look long week and the price started rising. We got whatever else we got long weeks here. We got rejections here and here a lovely engulfing pattern, uh, engulfing candle. The first one, the long one, the second one is engulfing with the body, the whole body of the previous candle. And when we draw the trend line again, let's draw the trend line here. We got a trend line, yeah, the trend line. It was crossed, so the price still fallen. But here again, 
we got another long week pattern which says no way guys we are going higher and the market went higher what happened there multiple rejection candles look at this one bam 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 bam, bam. we are on for our chart looks what's happening this trend line was broken it's still valid i'm telling you one trend line once drawn is valid for a long time it will be support or resistance so when the market went through this line you see it just made another candle it's pretty big it's quite a good couple of pips it's 80 pips here it's not joke you know so it's okay and same story here you see the price went below this line which is also res resistance and support you might draw also just if you neglect this uh, let's say it's stop hunting when you draw a line over here so the same story the price went through and from here it started falling but this is the first sign that something might happen in the future but let's go from the gold gold is well it's not the best one if we look at the japanese yen for example let's let's try to find something interesting here we got we got over here let's draw a trend line and let's see what's gonna happen we got a trend line over here and what we've got here we got lovely dodgy here i haven't told you about dodgy or you know the morning star whatever it is morning star should be with the with the gap is without gap but it's still engulfing long engulfing candle and still the such a long candle it's called momentum candle is also used for for the rising markets so let's have a look at the other one what's happening here let's draw the line here another one look we got a trend lovely trend like this one so but you see we got a sign here we got this week is not big and the candle is not big but what's happening the market didn't get through can you see that it just went further only here when you see we got engulfing pattern here smaller body is engulfed by the bigger body and the market has fallen one to three candles we are on a one hour chart so it works like something like that you might see guys all this funny weeks wherever when you one hour chart is not the best uh, to to check it but look at four hour what's happening when you see such a pin there's a pin but with very long week weaker above we got multiple rejection candles this one probably is stop loss hunters i don't know what time was there but let me tell you i presume it might have been yeah it's 20 hundred uh, it's 1900 gmt time so it's evening in the evening nothing's happening on the market stop hunters just went through and next day they just dropped the market over here this was the sign the long week candle look what's happening here here what's happening we had the rock bottom level but we also see the sign this is inside bar this candle body of this candle is inside of the body of this candle and after that you got first rising and this week says the impulse that no one no one is going to sell anymore and the price reversed over here someone pushed the price here just to the bottom just cleared all the stop losses because there was too many stop losses here and then the market started rising next inside bar over here look at this one so inside bars working perfectly guys those patterns we don't trade them alone we just have to trade them with something else we need confirmation we trend line whatever we use the indicators i got some qqe indicator i've shown you very good our uh, relative strength index of moving averages pretty good in indicator trend lines use trend lines they are the simpler one and they really work look we've got the pattern for falling market that's the first one and if you draw the trend line over here right from here let's say we do it this way or we draw it from here whichever place you prefer yeah so after the signal and after the price broke the line the trend line we know already that with stop loss placed over here 50 pips 
we might stay and wait and probably another 70 uh, or 80 pips uh, should be taken here we got another inside bar look at this one very nice very lovely way of trading very simple just based on price action guys i recommend use it the most those four candlestick patterns long week candles the first one multiple rejection candles with small bodies and long weeks from the site where rejection is coming engulfing pattern and inside bar just use it just based on price action and you will do it let's go to the next one or no next one will be the next time watch my other videos don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye bye